Hi y'all, this is Shelby and welcome to the Sugar Scoop. Today we're going to be testing Madame Lulu's Chocolate Pear Gluten-Free Cake Mix. So I'm super excited about that. Of course, we're also going to make it look really cute. I'm going to make a little fondant pear and stick around to the end because we're going to be doing a taste test. So add all of your mix to your bowl, then you're going to add your eggs and your butter. Make sure to follow the recipe on the back of your package. Mine wants you to mix it on medium for about three minutes or until it's a totally solid color. Spray your pans with oil, don't use flour because this is gluten free. And then I made little parchment rounds to put the bottom. And these are two five inch pans. I separated the batter to be about half and half in each pan. On the bag it calls for an eight inch pan so I changed it up a little bit. It took them about 40 minutes to cook all the way through since I did the pans like this, but they came out beautifully. Um, it, by looking at them, they look like they rose perfectly and they look like nice fluffy cakes. So now I'm gonna be making an American buttercream. I'm just using one stick of butter, a half cup of high ratio shortening, and one pound of powdered sugar. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of milk. So I'm just gradually adding that powdered sugar in put my last tablespoon of milk in, and then I'm just going to cream that together for about five minutes. I'm cutting off the tops of my cakes, and this is just gonna have one center in it, just making a small little cake to test out this, this flavor. I'm filling the inside with applesauce. I'm gonna make it nice and smooth, my crumb coat because I want to cover this cake in fondant, so I'm going to do one coat and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill, and then I'm going to do a second coat. This is the uh, blue denim fondant from Madame Lulu. So to paint my pears, I took a picture that I liked off the internet. This is just like a um, technical drawing of some pears. And I cut it out. This is edible paper and I just cut out the shapes that I wanted onto edible paper. Now I attached the edible paper to the cake using egg white. So I just glued it on there with egg white. And now I'm painting with a mixture of vodka and uh, food coloring. I'm using Chef Master colors, moss green, normal, just regular green. I have some of that super burgundy in there to add that kind of reddish color to the pears when they get nice and ripe. And I'm just gonna look, keep looking at my drawing. What really helps is getting the shape right. So printing out your shape and cutting it out is a good first step to learning how to paint. It gives you the proportions and all you have to worry about is the shading. So now I'm adding some gold sprinkles to the bottom of the cake. So to make my pear topper, I'm gonna to take Madame Lulu, their green, the yellow, and the white. Mixing it all together and making a marble effect, not too marbly, but enough to where you can tell, I'm gonna make it into a pear shape. And I, I did add a little bit of Tylos powder to this. Take a bowl, put some plastic wrap over it so I have a nice round shape to put the bottom of my pear in, using my modeling tools to add you know, the top of the pear and the little bottom part of the pear. Holding it with my hands until it's a nice pear round shape. 
going to let it dry in my dehydrator in this little bowl for a few minutes. So to make my leaf, I'm just going to take some uh, floral wire and wrap it in brown for the stem, cut out a leaf, use my leaf banner, and then add a few little details, and then stick my um, floral wire in there, and it looks like a, looks like a little twig, because it's brown wire. Now to paint my pear, I'm just gonna use the same colors that I was using to paint the pears on the cake. So I, I use some of that yellow, some of that burgundy, and I just kind of go over it until the um, pear <laughs> looks like a real pear. Now you'll see it kind of jumps to looking like a real pear. I lost the footage in between that because my phone died, but I just pretty much keep going at it until I think it looks right. And I use some white food coloring in there too. And there we go, I stick the little uh, leaf on the top and now we are about to taste it. So we're about to try the Madame Lulu pear chocolate, chocolate pear, uh, gluten-free cake mix. I paired it with a vanilla bean, buttercream icing, and some applesauce uh, filling. And we're about to cut into it. So pretty, you want to cut into it? Okay. <laughs> Try not to cut myself. What the? Stab the pear. <laughs> oh no. Not the pear. Alright, go! Mmm. Yummy. Oh, it's really good. So, the texture is really good. It's a, uh, um,. I mean, it's like eating a normal cake. It doesn't have any of that grittiness that a lot of um, gluten-free cakes It's got good flavor. I can taste the pear. Mm, this is so good. Pretty good. It was really good. I'm very impressed, Madame Lulu. It was really good, Madame Lulu. Enjoyed it. Right, Shelby? Mm -hmm. Madame Lulu got skills. Yep. <laughs> Stick your fork in it. I want to try one of the real pieces of pear. Mmm, there's an actual pear in here. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm just gonna pick out all the little pieces of pear. <laughs> I don't see any more. A little bit. Yeah, it doesn't taste gluten free at all. This is my mom, Robin. <laughs> Steven? Yeah. I hear Steven giggling in the background. 